Hi, my name is Greg, and this is a $500 video encoder. This device can take video signal from up to four HDMI inputs, encode that video signal into H.264, and send it over Ethernet via multiple available streaming protocols, a few examples being RSTP, UDP, and Unicast. The reason it was sent in for repair is because the owner plugged in a passive 48 volt power over Ethernet injector. Now this device is no longer detected on the network, which is kind of part of its main feature. This device does not run on power over Ethernet whatsoever. It requires a 12 volt DC power input. So what happened here is 48 volt was sent directly to the transformer pins on the RG45 jack, which overloaded the Realtek 8143 Ethernet controller, causing this device's main feature, network communication, to stop working. To proceed with the repair, we're going to replace the Realtek control chip and the RJ45 jack with brand new parts. In addition to the brains of the network interface, I'm also replacing the RJ45 jack, because with 48 volts being plugged directly into this Ethernet jack, the tiny coil windings on the miniaturized transformers inside may have been damaged. Once that is done, I reassemble the device, power it on, connect to its default static IP address with any browser, and we could see an interface page. Meaning the device is now able to talk over the network. And after that, to test the video encoding, I input a video signal and connect via RSTP and VLC media player. On screen now is a video stream coming from my test bench while I'm testing a video card. This stream shows that the Ethernet controller now works, which means the repair was a success.